What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a special video because it's my first ever Q&A. I said that when I got 700 subscribers, I was going to do my first Q&A. And would you look at this? That's more than 700 subscribers, everybody. Thank you so much to everyone subscribe. We're not going to make this long intro. We're just going to get right into it. I screenshotted all of the um, questions I got. I asked on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, this is it right here. And so we're going to get right into it. Alrighty, as you can see, we changed the setup to start these questions because the other, there was just too much. The other one just wasn't working out. Okay, so we got the questions. Let's start off with the very first one. All right, first question is going to be fave song at the moment. Huh, that's a good one. Um, I have to say Happier by Olivia Rodrigo. Everyone knows her sour album is like fire. And even though that song is like such a heartbreak song and I'm not going through heartbreak right now, I have a boyfriend. It's one of those songs that I know I felt just like that in the past. So if you haven't listened to it, Happier, so good. Gets you in the feels, so good. Next one, um, a fellow reporter here, what's your story method? Okay, so I'm assuming that what you mean by this is kind of how do I put my stories together and how do I, um, I guess what's my process. So basically, I always get to the scene of whatever story I'm doing. I first interview the people. I never go in with an interview already. Like, um, I never know the exact questions I'm going to ask, which some people say it's like not the best. Others say that it's fine. I personally think that I don't want to have ready questions available that I have to memorize. I'd rather just have a conversation. So I just go into it knowing the topics we're going to speak about. So if I'm covering um, an event about veterans or something, like I go in there and I ask them, hey, tell me about this event. Why do you think it's important? Um, can you tell me a little bit about people who don't know about this event? What can they expect? Things like that. So um, I do all the interviews. Then after I do the interviews, I go ahead and um, take all the VO or the B-roll, which is just like that video that you watch over when you hear me or you hear the person I interview. So I get a bunch of video, like the event, the location, whatever it is I'm covering. And then after that, I get home and I do work from home. So I sit on this handy dandy couch and basically I, um, I cut up my interview to find what are the nice like 10 second sound bites of the interview. Like maybe I'll choose like five or six that are really good. The, the person that like, either gets emotional, this is a really good sound bite or whatever it is. So I put all that together. Um, I, I transcribe all of those. So I write down all the ones that I cut and what I have. And then after that, I go ahead and I piece the story together, kind of like a puzzle. So I start the story off with the most interesting quote or the most interesting thing of the story. And then I go into like video, um, then I connect the, put the thoughts in and I kind of work from top to bottom. I know some people like just don't have a top to bottom method. I do top to bottom from anchor intro to tag. And yeah, that's pretty much how I do my method. That's confusing. I'm sure reporters don't understand everyone else. I'm so sorry. Next question, what to do in college to be a reporter anchor? Thank you. Um, okay, so basically in college, you join every single um, TV station things that you guys have. For example, in UM, I went to University of Miami. We had UMTV, which is a big organization. It had an entertainment show, a hard news show, um, a Spanish show. It had sports. It had every type of show. So I joined two shows, and I got very involved with those two shows. And I'm telling you, like, the, everything I learned in that setting in the setting of like UMTV like outside of classes is what I use now more than what I learned in the classes so that is the that's the number one thing I'm gonna suggest there's a, a lot of other things that you have to do but ultimately join your extracurricular TV station and get an internship if you can so I got two of these very similar ones I got how you met your boyfriend and how did your boy you and your boyfriend meet so my boyfriend and I are he's very private as he should be um, and he is very um, not a social media guy so I will try to convince him one day to do a sit down video with me to talk about like our story how we met and like us as a couple because I live for that but as of right now we're not gonna get into it we met one way and now we've been happily in love for two months now and even though it's a very short amount of time it's special he's a special one everybody why is your sister in NYC? Good question. My sister, for those of you guys who follow me on Instagram, so I went to go visit her at NYC and she's living there, living the NYC dream. 
that's literally been what she's wanted for the past like maybe two or three years so she's there right now and she is doing a fashion internship with an influencer called Liv Schreiber. Liv Schreiber, I think that's how you pronounce her name. So I'm showing you right now on the screen. Basically, she's a content creator for her, helps her with her brand marketing and with videos and TikTok and stuff like that. So she's basically a content creator for this influencer. And yeah, so she's living the dream and living in Midtown. Workout tips. Um, I don't mean for this to sound like I'm tagging my other stuff, but like I have videos that go into depth about workout tips. I have like a beginner workout video and stuff like that and some workouts in general. So basically, workout tips number one is always have a cute outfit. Try to, your best to look as cute as you can. And number two, um, always go into the gym with a plan. Always have a plan in advance for a week or two weeks and things like that. It's really gonna keep you motivated. And then just try your best to never, never say no. Like always make it a priority. Um, I and should follow my own advice because lately I've been saying no. But overall, just try to keep it um, something that's very important to you. And as the more and more you work out, results will show. You'll feel strong and good about yourself, and that's what's most important. Favorite movie. Okay, so I have two. Number one, The Notebook. That's my all-time favorite movie. Number two, Beauty and the Beast. Just because that's my like my Disney movie. It has my heart in so many ways. But overall, I always say The Notebook because it's just so romantic, and I just my heart. It just makes my heart like. Ooh. What's your ethnicity? Ethnicity, I am half Venezuelan, half Nicaraguan. So that's Central and South America. Um, I would consider myself a little bit more Venezuelan because I practically lived there um, up until I was like 15. And then politics there just is, are not the nicest. So I just have not been able to go back. But um, definitely Venezuelan more than Nicaraguan. Advice for starting a YouTube channel or a channel in general. Um, do it, do it. There's uh, there's nothing else I can speak on this. Just do it, make that first video, and do it. How did you know you wanted to be on TV as a career? Ooh, good question. So um, I knew I wanted to be on TV because I always wanted to be like an actor. Um, uh, I, not ashamed to say, I've always wanted to be like someone who was on TV, but I just kind of felt like the actor route was just not for me. Um, I tried like the the, theater school and all that stuff it wasn't for me and then one day one of my teachers in middle school he's like you know i see you like as a weather girl or something and i was like huh really and so when i went to um i got into umtv just to kind of check it out ended up loving it didn't like really weather um and my dream is to be like an anchor um which is the you know the person who sits on the desk and tells you all about the news so um yeah, I just knew I wanted to be on TV and then I just found career paths that matched it. And there it is. And also like, I love telling stories. I love talking. I'm a very talkative person. I love to get to know people who are around me. So with reporting, it's kind of like, I get to tell a story every single day to thousands of people. And I get to know someone throughout that process and I get to know a story and I love that. Like I just think they make my day, sometimes they make my day a little bit sadder, but for the most part, the good stories outweigh the bad. How old are you? I am 23 years old. My birthday is January 11, 1998. Favorite part of Illinois and what you miss about the 305 the most? <laughs> Favorite part of Illinois, I would have to say the small town vibe everywhere I go. I live in central Illinois. There's no big cities in my area. The biggest one is Chicago, which is two and a half hours away, so I don't really consider that my area. Um, but I just love the small town feel of it. I love how everyone kind of like, you, you see the familiar faces all around, basically like what you see in movies for small towns. That's how I feel. I feel like I live in a Hallmark town. Um, I live, for all my Floridians, I live in like the Tallahassee of Illinois, but think of it 10 times cleaner and prettier and classier. I'm so sorry if you are from Tallahassee. I don't mean that you're not classy, you just know what I mean, okay? You just know what I mean. And what I miss about 305 the most, oh, the Hispanic of it all. Like, over there I go to Publix and I speak to someone in Spanish. Over there I go get food at Burger King and I speak to someone in Spanish. I go anywhere I go and I just Spanish, I speak more Spanish than English there and here I've really had to become a gringa, okay? I kind of feel like I'm losing my Miami accent sometimes and I really hope it stays strong, but yeah. So yeah, I would say just the Hispanic of it all, the, the Hispanic food, just that part of my, my culture, um, it, it's not here at all. So I feel very much detached from that. 
but I try to speak to my friends in Spanish or like say Spanish words here and there to my friends and to my friends here and and yeah it's kind of how I cope but definitely the Hispanic Latin part why did you move to Illinois I know it's cuz job but why there so I moved to Illinois because um, basically the way it works when you're trying to find a job in TV your first job out of college you really can't be super picky I mean some people can I was not trying to be super picky I honestly was kind of letting God decide where I was gonna go and I applied to 153 jobs in broadcast and none of them called me back and the job that I'm at now they found me through YouTube actually and they were they called me out of nowhere and they're like hey we're in Champaign Decatur area Central Illinois and I'm like where but I had to Google where this was and to be honest it was the middle of the pandemic I said why not I'm not doing anything here anyway signed a two-year contract and here I am a Central Illinoisan your favorite Disney character outside of the princess realm I know Belle is your ultimate fave so yes you know Belle is my ultimate fave. I think this is my friend Tiffany um, uh, but Belle is definitely my ultimate fave after her, Aurora, um, which is Sleeping Beauty. I love the classics, obviously. Um, wait, I just realized this is your favorite Disney character. Sorry. Um, uh, favorite Disney character outside of the Disney realm? Peter Pan. I'm going to go with Peter Pan. Love Peter Pan. Love how he's from, uh, how it's like British and, and European. So I'm going to say Peter Pan. Has it been hard to balance your work life and doing YouTube? Um, yes, and that's why I don't have that many videos lately. Like I used to say I was gonna post once a week. I don't think I've ever done that for more than two consecutive weeks. So um, it is just because sometimes I find editing, like editing my vlogs as a chore rather than like I enjoy it because I just, I edit all day for my job that I kind of like get them kind of mixed up. And when I have to edit, I just think of it as a chore instead of like, this is something I'm doing for fun. So I'm trying to get out of that mentality and edit really vi edit videos that I want to edit. But for the most part, yes, because on my days off, the last thing I want to do is be looking at a screen all day. So coming up with that type of content has been hard. But uh, we're on the upswing. Hopefully this video is the first of many to come in the next couple of weeks. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for sending in questions. To be honest, I really thought I was only gonna get like one or two. So I'm like, this is gonna be so embarrassing if I don't. But I got a good amount. I think I got like, what, 10 or 11? So go me. Um, and yeah, thank you again so much for watching, guys. I appreciate you. Like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. I'll see you next time.